In this video, I want to review how to import a PDF into AutoCAD. For context, the reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of times, if you're using a total station, you're given a PDF drawing. Total stations typically need a little bit more than just a PDF in order to use that drawing on their tablet. They need usually a DWG file or a DXF file, which are AutoCAD file types. That being said, most PDFs come exported from an AutoCAD type software. And what I mean by that is these PDFs come in vectorized. If I was to put this into AutoCAD, AutoCAD would be able to recognize this PDF's line work and other elements from CAD. Technically speaking, you can import any PDF you want into AutoCAD. However, the PDF import I'm talking about today are PDFs that have your layout design on them, such as line work, grid lines, anchor locations, and the like. And you want the AutoCAD to be able to take that and basically convert it back into your drawing elements so you can put points on them and select them as you lay out on a job site. A PDF that's an image or text, unfortunately you can't recognize that as line work to be laid out in AutoCAD. So let's get to it. I'm going to take this vectorized PDF and import it into AutoCAD. The first thing you want to do is start a drawing. You need to have at least a blank drawing open in order to import a PDF file. You then go to the Insert tab, scroll over to where it says Import, find your file, and say Open. On my PDF file, I have several pages. Make sure you select the page you want to import. In my case, I'll select page 1, and I will say OK. I typically just leave all of these as is for my basic importing. Once you press OK, it's going to show you down here that it's converting the PDF elements back into CAD elements. It could take some time depending on the weight of your file. Once imported, it will look something like this. And now you need to make sure that it's scaled properly so you can actually use it and export it on a total station. To check the scale, my typical process is to first go to the command line and make sure I'm in the correct units that I want to use. So I'll go to Units. I'll make sure I change this to what I want to work with and I'll say apply. And in my case, I'm not gonna rescale anything. Most PDFs never come in scaled when I import them this way, and so I'll just make sure I scale it right after this. Now I'm working with inches as my units, and I can now go to a dimension, such as the grid line distance between F84 and F89. I recognize as 35 feet, and now I'll just simply run the scale command. I'll press Control A to select my whole drawing, type SC, to begin the scale command and press spacebar or enter. And now my base point is going to be F84. I'm gonna press R for reference to make it easier for myself and press enter. And now my reference line is just gonna be from F84 to F89. And I'm now gonna type in the numbers 35 feet at the bottom and press enter. I'll go ahead and zoom, extents to see my whole drawing again. And now everything should be scaled. I will do a distance command to check. F84 to F89 is coming out as 35 feet. I'll do it again. Let's do one for over on this side to check this dimension. 296 to 328 coming up as 3111. Now I know I'm scaled properly. The only thing to be concerned about is sometimes the line work comes in looking a little skewampus. And that's simply the nature of PDF import. Sometimes it looks jagged and not super clean. Not to mention, sometimes the elements come in as polylines instead of true circles, like when it looks like it should be a true circle. For instance, right here, if I highlight over it, it's shown up as a polyline. If I was to explode that, you'll notice that these are now individual lines. So if you're looking to put a point at the center of this polyline segment, it might be a little bit hard. So just make sure to always check your scaling, your distances, your elements, to make sure that they're what you expect. If it gets too frustrating to work with, just make sure you request the actual original DWG file, which this was most likely extracted from in the first place. Now the question is, what if you have two different PDFs that you want to merge together? Well, in that case, you're just doing a simple alignment. And let me show you how that's done. Over here, I've imported the second page of the PDF that should align accurately to the first page. Both drawings have the same grid, and the E84 and the 296 intersection is the same in both drawings. Let me show you three different ways you can use to align this drawing. The first way is to simply highlight the drawing that you want to move to the new drawing and copy via base point. You can get that command by either right-clicking, 
going to clipboard and saying copy via base point, or just press Control shift c I'm going to select the base point that is the same in both drawings, so that's E84296 for me. I'm going to click on it. Now that that's copied, when I go to the original drawing and I press paste, which is Control v I'm simply going to align this drawing at the E84296 line, which is right here. And bingo, I've now aligned the drawings. Another way to do it, that's a little bit longer, but it might come in handy in case you ever have a complicated situation, is to go to the drawing that you want to move, highlight it, do a simple copy by either right-clicking, pressing clipboard, and copy, or just by pressing Control c going back to your original drawing, and pressing Control v to paste. And now that it's over here, you can simply highlight the drawing, use the M command for move, highlight the move point, which is E84 and 296, and just drag it and plop it into place like so. And bingo, the drawings are again aligned. The third way that I want to show you is to simply highlight the drawing you need to align, copy it again, paste it into the space where you need to put the original, and now you can use the align command. Basically find two points that go together on both drawings and it will align. This is good for a drawing that's scaled properly and the other drawing needs to scale up or down to it. Highlight the drawing you're trying to align, use the align command, tap on one point that's consistent between both drawings, drag it to the location where it's supposed to go, and then simply tap a second point of the drawing. In this case, I'll use the 328 line of the same grid and drag that where it's supposed to go. After you finish the second point, it's going to ask you to specify a third source point or continue. We are not gonna specify a third source point because we only need to align with two points. So when I press enter, I'm basically saying I'm gonna skip this step, which is totally fine. When you align, you're typically only using two points. It's then gonna prompt you to say yes or no to scaling the drawing you're bringing over. For right now, I'm gonna say no, but I'm gonna show you an example afterwards where you might say yes. So in my case, because the drawing that I brought over is already scaled, I do not need to scale it again. So I'll say no, enter, and you'll see as I zoom out, it is now aligned just like before. Let me show you an example using the align command of when scaling, using that scale function, might be appropriate. Let's say that you have a scaled PDF right here that is already perfectly good to go, and you're simply trying to bring other PDFs into it. And for whatever reason, whether it's another drawing or another PDF, whatever it might be, when you bring another drawing or PDF into this drawing, it might look something weird and squampus like this over here. You can see that this drawing is clearly ready to go, but it's not scaled properly. For instance, if I take a dis distance measurement from here to here, it's supposed to be 35 feet, and you can see it's coming up seven feet, seven inches, which I know is scaled wrong. So what I need to do is scale this to this drawing. Well, that's where the align command is very friendly because I can simply do it with just what I did before. Highlight the drawing, type the align command, and this time I'm gonna bring it over to this drawing and scale it all in one go. I'm gonna go with the same exact points I've been using the whole time and then the E84 and the 328 line. I'm, not, I'm gonna, again, skip the third point. And now this time I'm gonna say yes to scaling. And you can see this time it scales properly and all these dimensions should now be good to go. So the align command has a lot of power and it's very friendly to scaling, aligning, rotating, all of those combined. But I hope that this helped you to see the differences between the different scale options. And of course, please, in the comments, leave any questions or comments you might have.